Okay, in this video I'm going to go over using expired domains. So obviously expired domains or finding domains from auction sites are very big these days, uh, especially in the past year or two. They've really uh, had a big spike in, in just the popularity of using them, uh, primarily based off of what Google's done with their big updates in the past couple of years. Uh, but in the past 10 years that I've been online, there's definitely been a huge spike in just the popularity of finding expired domains or finding domains on uh, auction sites and using those to start your sites rather than registering a fresh domain uh, starting from scratch and going from there so uh, and there are good there is good reason to do it and that's what I'm going to get into in this video why you should do it um, and what to look for once you've decided to go ahead and look for a domain what you should look for because you can very easily get burnt as they say it's very easy to get a bad domain and it actually end up hurting you and you put all this time and, and money and work into your new site um, only for it to you know be in vain and just to be completely ruined because you put it on a site that was used for spamming or you know or whatever so in this video I want to go over uh, what the benefits are and what to look for so using expired domains why use them and what to look for so the benefits there are a few uh, pretty big benefits it helps speed up trust and credibility and that's the big one and that's especially if you find uh, domains that were uh, auctioned off on auction sites but also even expired domains do pass a, a, a certain amount of authority and trust over to them now there's always going to be a certain amount that you're still going to have to build up over time but having a pre-established site a site that's already been registered that already has backlinks out there uh, that already has some sort of authority is really going to help you as long as you take into account the things we're going to get into uh, later on in the video. Uh, but it really can help speed up trust and credibility. So that's the primary reason for doing it. It can also get you quick rankings because of the first point, because it, it, it's helped speed up the trust and credibility. You already have some established trust and credibility with Google. Uh, and being it's going to help you to get quicker rankings and that's not so much obviously with the highly competitive phrases unless you just hit a gold mine jackpot domain you know that just has all kinds of rankings already uh, which is pretty rare uh, but but even with those that don't you know that aren't highly authoritative just having some authority um, can get you quick rankings very quick rankings um, if you're targeting long tail phrases so uh, it can get you quick rankings and primarily uh, and th those rankings are as a a result of the trust and credibility that you get from you know that are inherent from getting a domain that's already been registered that already has some credibility uh, so those are the benefits and those benefits are good benefits and worth uh, spending you know a couple extra dollars in some cases you can get an expired domain for eight or ten dollars um, so it, it's well worth the effort to put into this to find it so what to look for is it still indexed in Google and that's a big one a lot of them are not but there are a lot out there that are still indexed in Google and if it's indexed in Google uh, that tells you that it's probably doesn't have any problems with Google that tells you it's probably not uh, you know it probably doesn't have penalties because if Google doesn't like a site they're usually going to just remove it from from their index now there are a few other things um, that they could still have your the site indexed um, but it may not be ranking as well as it could uh, depending on a few other things but we're gonna get into those as well here but still indexed in Google is a big plus that removes this kind of a, a filter can you find a good site that a good pre-existing um, expired domain or domain at an auction site uh, that is not indexed in Google and it still be a good site yes but if you only get those that are still indexed in Google uh, then you have a very good chance um, that there's not a major issue with the site so that's just kind of a preliminary filter item so is it still indexed in Google make sure it is second this is a very very big one does it have a good backlink profile and what a good backlink profile means is not just does it have all kinds of links as a matter of fact the number of links is a minor detail to me I want to make sure the links are good because you could just have a couple literally a couple two three four backlinks that are good solid quality backlinks that can really just give you a huge boost so I'm more concerned with the quality of the backlinks uh, more so than the number alright so are the are the backlinks coming from various data centers I've seen so many expired domains and domains up on on auction websites that have hundreds or even thousands of, of backlinks and you're like oh great you know this is a good domain and then you look into the backlinks 
and you find out that they're all coming from the cl same class C, from the same data center. Uh, so the, the backlinks, even if maybe it is a good website that they're coming from, which in most cases it's not, but even if it is, uh, then it's not going to count for all those backlinks. You know, it's not Google's not going to see those hundreds or thousands of backlinks. They're going to see one because it's all coming from the same data center, from the same class C, and probably from the same IP or same IP data range from the same site. So uh, look at the the variety of data centers. Where are these links coming from? Because there are people who try to game it. Um, or just use the domain for spam or whatever else and then let it expire or whatever uh, and that's what you you know you see hundreds or thousands of backlinks but it's actually not good so uh, various data centers good anchor text so uh, a good anchor text is anchor text that is not over optimized um, again that that is coming from various data centers but the actual anchor text the actual text used to create the backlink you want to make sure especially uh, with all the major updates with Google, especially you want to make sure that the uh, there aren't primary keywords that are over optimized. So you want to make sure that the keywords, the anchor text looks natural, uh, that you see a higher percentage of the actual domain URL um, as anchor text, that you want to see um, brand names as anchor text, not all keywords. So if you see a bunch of the anchor text as keywords, or it's like, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of all the backlinks are one keyword uh, that's not good now if you only have two or three backlinks that's completely different if you have you know a handful of backlinks and uh, you know sixty percent of them or seventy five percent of them are one keyword that's not necessarily uh, a bad thing I would not reject a domain because of that if it's only a few backlinks because obviously it's just a few backlinks um, if you get one backlink that has a keyword as the anchor text that that's not a red flag that the site is spam you know that could be a highly legitimate backlink and uh, coming to a highly legitimate website so uh, but if you have hundreds or even maybe fifty to a hundred or more and it's just a high high rate of one keyword or two or three keywords um, and very low rate or any uh, instances of the URL or a brand name uh, that's cause for concern and that's a red flag and you don't want that in your uh, backlink profile of your expired domain or auction domain. Uh, also take a look at the backlinks make sure they're not spammy you know a lot of times you'll find that the backlink profile uh, contains links from just complete trash websites um, and I'm not talking about web directories etc those can be good it depends you know as long as the quality of the site is good you know you can get links from web directories and article directories and social bookmarking sites um, that are only coming from the good sites in those in those uh, categories. So there are good article directory sites that will help you. There are good uh, uh, link directories, uh, web directory sites that will help you. There are good social bookmarking sites that will help you. So, <clears throat> but there are also spammy bad ones in each one of those categories. So don't go by just the type of site that is giving the backlink. Go by the quality of the site that is give, getting the backlink. Uh, that's what's important. So just make sure um, that the backlinks are not spammy, obviously. And then make sure that the backlinks are at least somewhat relevant. Um, the more relevant, the better, obviously. But make sure that, you know, if this is a, a site... Uh, about finance, make sure all the backlinks aren't from an adult, you know, adult sites or, um, you know, just something completely, totally unrelated. Because if they are, then you know that that the owner, the previous owner of that domain, probably was doing something fishy. Um, it's just not natural to have completely irrelevant backlinks. So take a look at that, and that's very important. All these things for the backlink profile. Also, take a look at the content, the previous content, if you can. Many times you can put the domain into archive.org and take a look at the previous content, the content that the previous owner had on the site. Um, so plug it into archive.org and see if you can find some of that previous content. Sometimes you can even restore it. Um, you have to look into the legality of that depending on the site, but uh, just make sure that the relevance of the content is good. Uh, you don't want to put a site up on it. You know, you, it, everything else could pass. Everything else could be great. Great backlink profile, still indexed in Google. Everything's good. 
uh, but the site was on something totally different than what you want to put on there, and that's not going to be good. So this, what you put on the site should always be at least closely related. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, you know, long tail keyword that they're targeting, uh, but it should be very closely related to the content that they had on the website. Uh, I should say to the niche, not the content. You don't want to, you know, blatantly copy all the content. You want to make sure it's uh, about the same. So relevant content to the niche that you're targeting. And then does it have some authority? Uh, you know, PageRank, Google PageRank, Toolbar PageRank is going away. Um, I think it may actually, I may think they may have actually officially announced that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost positive that Google PageRank, Toolbar PageRank is going away. So uh, that's probably not something long term in the future to continue to look at, but it still is out there. And most sites out there, especially those that have just expired or that are getting auctioned off, um, at one point went through at least one of those PR updates. So PR is still a, a good indicator um, for now of authority, not a perfect indicator. You can get an awesome site that has no page rank and you can get a site that has very little authority that has uh, you know PR three or four. But in general, on average, page rank is a pretty decent indicator still of authority. So you can still go by PR for now. Just make sure it's not fake. Fake PR is you can just do a redirect, a meta refresh uh, for a site and redirect it to a site with PR and Google will give that site PR and that's fake PR. Obviously it's not going to help. There are tools out there that can find out whether it's fake or not though. So just make sure it's not fake PR um, and you you can look at the PR. We've been doing it for a while. Um, in the future you'll want to start moving over to different authority indicators uh, but for now PR is still a pretty decent um, overall average indicator. But make sure it has some kind of authority whether you're looking at the page rank or you're looking at uh, some other authority. There are several different indicators out there. Majestic um, gives a competition analysis etc of uh, domain authority. So just make sure it has some kind of authority. It's not just a zero across the board throughout all the different indicators. Make sure it has some authority. And if you take all of those things into account, these are obviously just high level things to look at. And again, you know, you can get deep into this just like anything else. You can spend days on it. Uh, but really when it comes down to it, um, it's just there's still always going to be a certain level um, of guessing here but if you look at these overall things you can get a pretty good idea of a domain and you can at least make sure that it's safe that it's a safe domain if you go through and look through all those th these things you know it's safe and then the amount of actual authority you'll just have to find out once you have used it and, you know got your content up and get it going but there should definitely be at least some extra authority as as compared to a brand new domain that you just freshly registered and um, there's definitely benefits to it so highly recommend you do it just make sure you run it through um, these things here make sure that it's a good domain hope that helps